This is how simple it is to create a table in Teradata. One of the first things you have to understand is that you're going to give each table a primary index. And this is going to be the primary column that is used to distribute the data that users will usually query on and it's extremely important for joins. So if you had to make one decision about a table, picking the right column for the primary index is the best decision you can make. Now take a look at this. This table has a unique primary index. Now we're going to create the table. We give it a name, open paren. We will list all the columns and their data types. Close paren. We say unique primary index employee number. That table's created. We just saw a table with a unique primary index. This is a table with a non-unique primary index. So whenever you create a table, you can only give it one primary index, and it's either an UPI, unique primary index, or a NUPI, non-unique primary index. But the word non-unique is never used. Here again, we create our table, open paren, list all our columns, close paren, and then we say primary index employee number. If we had two employee number 99s in this table, no problem because it's a non-unique primary index. In this case, we created our table. Create table, table name, open paren, list all the columns and their data types, close paren. We didn't put down the primary index. Teradata says, oh, they forgot. They probably don't know too much about Teradata. I don't want them to lose their job. I'll pick the first column and make it a non-unique primary index. So when you leave off the primary index, Teradata is going to pick it for you and most likely it's going to be the first column and it's a non-unique primary index. This is relatively new to Teradata when you've been around like 20 years as I have. This is called the no PI table. It specifically says, I don't want a primary index. Distribute the data in the table perfectly evenly. This is used often in a staging table or anytime you create a columnar table. Once again, it's called a no PI because it's got no primary index. And as you can see, I specifically state new primary index. You can only have one primary index per table, but in this case, I've got a multi-column primary index. It's a non-unique primary index because you don't see the word unique here in the primary index, but I've got employee number, department number, salary, which will be combined in each row, then hashed and distributed, and that is a multi-column primary index. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.